full day tour number two has started. As you can see, the sun has not even risen yet properly. And check out our beast of a tour bus. That is a beast of a bus. And our first stop will be Borgarnes, its name. stop on a geothermal hot water pumping station it supplies hot water to two little towns around here and it pumps out a hundred litres of boiling hot water every second Tungu Kver. Dirta Tunga Fer. Dilta Tunka Fer. Dilta Tunku Kver. Dilta Tunka Kwe. Ish. And uh, they use the hot water. They, yeah. They pump it from here all the way to Borkanes and, uh, and also to Akranes. Wow. Is it fat or is it just a fur? Uh, I think it's fat. I don't think it's just a fur. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, so our second stop is this series of waterfalls, but all of this stuff is a lava field. And before that lava was there, there was a river running along here. Lava went all over it, and now the river's under the lava and so all the water comes out of the lava in the side falls down here into this river which is insane there's a river under there That's this place is honestly one of the coolest places i've ever been to i can't believe there's a river running through all that lava Whoa, ha, 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 ha. This is honestly such a cool place. I'll find out the name for you guys. And you guys have to come here. It is epic. Okay, this place is called Banafoss. Let go, and he'll let go. It's not even focus. Focus. And lava too is something that always forms when we have a lava field such as this one. Okay, we are sued and we did. About to go into the lava cave. The guy said it was 1,100 years old. Hundred years ago, we had this river of lava flowing this way, so we are heading downstream. Only one entrance to a cave. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't that bad. This cave has ice uh, within or inside it throughout the whole year. That big penis is 
God. Now here you are looking at what was once the bottom of the ceiling. And you can see where it came from. But they fall it down. So apparently um, the roof collapses on a lava tunnel quite a bit. So I don't know how much good these are going to do if that is the case. Uh, here we are going to do a little experiment. So I'm going to ask everybody to take a seat. Uh, oh, this hurts my ass. Sitting on that stuff, I think. This hurts my ass. Like a lot. What do you think we're going to do? <laughs> what you're going to do is turn everything off. And when I say everything, everything even my camera. Motion, fluids, any gadgets. So when you are ready, just turn the headband off. Oh, sorry. Is it still on, mate? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So yeah, you didn't see the last bit because we had to turn everything electronic off. But you basically got us to turn off all our lights, turn off all our electricity. We were in the furthest part of the cave, and I've never experienced darkness like it. Um, Even when you close your eyes, it was dark. <laughs> yeah, it was dark when like closing your eyes. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It was, it was really, really weird. You put your hand like right here. Can't see anything. <laughs> We're gonna finish our day off at another geothermal pool. We've got like two hours of this one. Oh my god, there's a slide. No way. That's a slide. There is a slide. Mate. Alright. <laughs> We're going on the slide. <laughs> Chill here for the rest of the day. Um, we might go out tonight, get some drinks that are going to be £10 each. Um, but yeah, we will see you tomorrow.